Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. Saka here, and welcome back to another episode of Motorsport Manager. And when we last left off, we just came off of a win from Event 2. Thank you, Falco. Looking awesome. He is four points behind. Um, the leaders are tied. Hopefully we can break through. Shin is holding mid-table in 12th. Outstanding. Our next race is in Germany, where the gearbox, the suspension are absolutely crucial, and the top speed is useful with a very low tire wear and a very low fuel burn. So as long as it's not raining, the soft tires will be a premium, I think. First off, let's take a look at the pit crew. Nagasuji needs to get his rear end to the gym. I mean, look at him right there. Looks like, uh, as far as tire changing goes, uh, Kadokian is a better fueler, but hopefully um, we won't have to worry about that too awful much. Let's swap out Nagasuki for uh, Siji, and then Nagasuji should get in recovery. Uh, is there anyone else we need to recover? The rear jack, um, the tire changer, and the fixer should be okay. But do we want to swap out Yabuki for now? I think we do. Nashimuru. Because we want our best guys um, fresh and ready to go. We could look for some pit crew for hire. Doesn't look that enticing. I mean, maybe uh, Kawasaki here. A, a good mid-range and a lot of stamina. That is pretty good. But 18,000 per race. I don't want to, like, front load even though we have all these slots open for the pit crew. It would be good, but I mean, these guys are holding station for now. We'll see what the recovery recovery rate is for Yabuki and Nakasuji. Everything will be awesome. We are improving the parts. We just got back from the race, and now the car repair is done. Outstanding. So let's take a look at what we are improving here. We are working on that gearbox. It's absolutely essential. Um... So this gearbox is done, and we're working to top that off. We need to get the reliability up on the suspension for sure. Uh, and let's work on the engine reliability and the brakes. How about the pair of brakes? Would that make sense? I think it would. We'll go ahead and move everything over to the reliability doesn't change a whole awful lot. So we can try to get these parts uh, built up and ready to go so we can start weight stripping and improving there. We can design a new part, I believe. Uh, looking at this, our suspension is definitely the worst on the grid. It wouldn't hurt to get some extra suspension parts here. Uh, 318's what we got. Um, if we're not worried about improving that suspension, I mean, we if we're building the new part, it wouldn't make sense to. I guess we could top it off uh, for this oncoming race. That wouldn't be bad. And we'll just design us a new suspension here. Uh, max speed corners, 25 to the max to make it 369 versus a 364. So we are going to do that for sure. And go ahead and build that guy there, 200 grand. Awesome. Let's take a look at our sponsors here. Slot 4 is opening up here in just a second, which is good. The World Motorsport Championship is kicking off. Awesome. So, voting intentions. I'd really like to see addition of Cape Town Track A. Would that be a good idea? Huh. Now, is this an additional... An additional race that isn't replacing anything because if it replaces Phoenix Oval, I am going to be really upset. Let's see, you have my support, fo forced to vote against, and 250 grand. Sure, you have my support. Give us an extra quarter million dollars. I'm all for that. Now, hopefully, they don't come back and say, We hear that you have been blah, 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 blah. All right, so an upfront payment of $1 million. Um, $1 million plus almost another million there are 13 races for three. FWK is definitely the way to go for sure. We will take FWK. Welcome aboard. $1 million extra dollars. And we are going to have that right there on our rear end. 
uh, for the next eight races. So after Munich is done, Ishikawa in slot three will go away, the one right over the tire, and that will be all well and good. All right, suspension is coming up. All right, a great opportunity. Sure, we'll accept it. All about Cape Town. Can you tell us your thinking ahead of the vote? Um, I'm, I'm against the race. Really, experts are in much favor in reducing the change. That's all well and good, but I'm making my own mind, thank you very much. Not to mention the, the payment. So, the, the quarter million dollars made up my mind. All right, here. All right, the Tim Team bosses. Yep. Ooh. Will have a huge impact on the way next... Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Munich, 40% chance of rain. Well, crap. There is our new suspension, and fairly good to be working. I, we can do better. He doesn't like Ian, huh? Ian's good. I don't know what you're talking about, Falco. All right, let's go to our parts improvement. We have this brand new suspension built up. Um, looks like these brakes are going to be good. Let's go ahead and work on these for show. So we can get our suspension up to speed here. We're not going to put it on the car, obviously. Though we could put it on Shen's, but, I mean, the way it looks like, uh, with the suspension becoming even more, you know, taking a pounding, I think it would break, if I'm honest. GT Championship running in Sydney. That is all well and good. Good job, uh, Chiaki Hashimoto. Good job. All right, continuing on, the politics vote, and that is our forced vote. All right, the vote started. Politics. You have been bribed to vote against. We will use one voting power because, quite frankly, uh, don't care. So a lot of people abstaining, and there it was, rejected. Cape Town will not be added in the next season. That is awesome. The next vote in 56 days. So we have a couple of uh, months to see what the new rule could be. And we are ready to head to Germany. So I will see you at the track. Uh, we are not going for third. I think third at this particular road course with our suspension as bad as it is. We don't stand a chance. We'll take the 13th. And we're not going to put on any new parts, I don't believe. All right, so Falco's good there. Reliability's fine there. That is good and good. That is good and good. Yep, that's good and good. I mean, 53%, I still don't think we could get away with it. I don't like the, I like where this suspension is. So we will see you at, after practice and on the track. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the grid at Germany. It was a pretty productive practice session. First for Falco, third for Shen. Falco starting deep in the pack, though, because of the inverted championship. We've got the soft tires wearing more slowly here as soft tires are going to be the way to go. It looks like they may be able to do this on one stop possibly. It's 29 laps. We've got 24 laps of fuel in the tank and these tires last 14. If he can make them last, I mean, we might be able to stretch out something really good. But for Shen, of course, she's going to burn through these soft tires pretty quick, uh, 10 to 12. So if we can make it to lap 10 or 11, we can do two stops on softs, keeping both of them filled up. We have Falco stripped down just a little bit. Uh, once we can get some reliability in Shen's car, we can do some weight stripping there. But so far, nice and sunny, no rain in the foreseeable uh, forecast. And it's going to be uh, quite interesting here. Lights are out. There goes Shen. We have them on an orange um, push right now to get some temperature in the tires. Keeping the engines turned um, down as far as fuel goes and, and the power because, I mean, Shen's car doesn't have the reliability necessary to really push the engine. Falco, we probably could, but we did wait, strip it a bit down to 80%. Uh, basically, it's the same rigmarole as before. Just make it to the first batch of pit stops, see where we shake out. Hopefully, we don't lose too much here in the mid-pack, and then start attacking from there. It looks like everyone is starting to push on the start. 
Hopefully that would be um, detrimental to their equipment. I don't know if by race three they have all of their stuff repaired up. It would be interesting to, to note. But Falco's soft tires are wearing more slowly. We're already 5% uh, better than Shen. Although, to be honest, Shin isn't exactly the best uh, measuring stick as far as tire wear is concerned. Falco makes a clean pass, and Falco is going to be on the charge here. Shen will sort of settle in right there in the back. She's got to make uh, one more stop than Falco if the one stop is to be believed. Now, I don't know how much time we're going to lose over the course of a run if we are going to be on just like on, on cords, but we'll see. We won't push them too far as far as temperature goes. We'll keep it right down in the middle and the team cars battling side by side. Oof, just don't wreck each other, please. That's gonna be uh, the kicker. But I had a bad feeling about Germany. This road course isn't good, especially with our, um, our suspension being so low like it is. It doesn't seem like uh, our team can handle this track much better. But yeah, these uh, in and out, in and out, in and out. Look, y'all decide amongst yourselves. If you end up taking each other out, this is going to be a pretty um, bad race as far as points are concerned. We really haven't lost the lead group, though, eight seconds behind. And if they, if they have to pit, then we'll be able to pounce on that. But holy crap. Yes, you can get past Omura. You can and you will. I believe in you. So it looks like Shin's tires are about where they would normally be. We're halfway through a tire run and 55%. It's going to be close as far as Shen's uh, tire wear is concerned just to make it to the one-third mark, which doesn't say a whole lot about the strategy there. Falco is sitting nice and pretty, though. We can stretch this run out just a bit. Uh, try to, as soon as the, the leaders pit, sort of pick up our pace and see if we can close that 10-second uh, gap that we have here on the track in clean air. It's good to see Falco and Shen both in solid form, though. Uh, I was a little worried about that event that said uh, old Falco is going to be at one form for the next three weeks, but... Certainly that doesn't seem to be the case. I think they may have flipped the switch uh, the wrong way as far as that event is concerned. But Falco ran a good uh, second sector there. And we're three laps away from Shen pitting. I think poor Shen will have to do a, a, a middle stent on mediums. Just the sheer amount of tire burn is, is it's nuts. Now, I focus both on soft tires in practice because I wanted uh, to get the soft tires wearing more slowly, but, you know, that's not a performance cre increase for the soft tires for Falco. It's just we can stay out there longer than everyone else. Maybe I should have just stuck with the uh, medium tires and got all the performance out of that. All right, Shen, why don't you go ahead and push hard this time? Uh, you'll pit for a stint on mediums, I am afraid. 21 laps left to go in the race. We can put in six laps of fuel, and that should get her to the end of the race. Parts are looking okay. We can really start picking them up and setting them down. I don't know if I want to risk a fast pit stop with Shen, but that may be enough to close the gap, so we'll give it a try. So Shen will be pitting this time. She's burning everything that she can off of these tires. It's a good thing that she is pitting this time. A little unfortunate she didn't make it to the one-third mark, so we're going to have to do maybe two stints on mediums to close the race out. Waiting for all these other people to pit as well, and it, well, there's one other on pit road, so that is Shen's pit stop complete. We'll just have her do a push for now. And Falco is in 9.9 .9 form. That would be pretty good if he was pressuring these guys. Let's give it a few more laps here. We want to definitely cross the one-third mark. You're struggling to overtake Taylor because why? <laughs> he is on very chewed up soft tires. There you go, Falco. 
Don't tell me about it if you're going to just pass him right afterwards. But sitting pretty, that is the one-third mark, and we have plenty of tires to go around a few more times here. Let's go ahead and push Falco just a bit. We're not going to go five more laps on these tires, I don't believe. I mean, we can try. We can see where the, uh, where the chips fall, as it were. But poor Shen, she is, uh, she is struggling with uh, that poor suspension. Falco, nice, picking him up and setting him down here. That's what I like to see. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, this lap, just go hard. Pass as much as you can here. And we will pit this time for the next round of softs. 18 laps to go. Let's put in six in the tank. Park condition is looking good. It's still a low risk, so I think I'm going to try it. If we can get through these guys real quick and make up some time on pit road, all the better. Get to that inside there, Falco. Maximum engine boost, if you please. Tell you, Falco is looking to be a contender here, ladies and gentlemen. I'm liking what I see. There you go. I know you're going through these tires, but all well and good there, Falco. You're getting everything you can out of them. All right, go back to a medium burn and a push. He'll be on pit road this time. We want a nice smooth stop. Gents, nothing too crazy. Outstanding. So that worked out well for us indeed. Falco coming off pit road. There we go in 15th. Stop that guy dead in his tracks and we have the fresh soft tires around. Looks like Shin is starting to get to the top part of that temperature gauge. So we're going to be looking for Shen to pit, what, lap 14 or 15? She can go further than that. She does have some open track in front of her, which is good. Once we get to the halfway mark, I will think about uh, turning up the engines just a bit. There goes Falco passing some guys on pit road. That'll put us in 12th into that sponsorship transfer. He's got decent tires from, based on everyone around. Shen is in the realm of medium tires, and uh, those softs all around her are going to chew her up like crazy. She's just basically holding on for dear life, unfortunately. The, uh, the suspension is what bit us this race for sure. We can keep Falco pushing just a bit. Let's have him go neutral around these guys. Some more guys on pit road. Falco is going to leapfrog all of them into sixth place with a very fast lap. And he is amongst his peers here. Everyone around here has pitted once. And freaking Lars Olin, again, leading this race. Those guys are trying to make it into the world championship, it looks like for sure. Um, as long as Shin is where she is, I don't think as a team we can get there. We would be relying on Falco to do most of the heavy lifting, unfortunately. Falco's being pressured by Wilson, who's chewing through his soft tires very quickly. We're definitely minding our P's and Q's, minding our own business here. I think we can stretch this run further and have like a nice five or six lap final segment and really push through the soft tires up to speed. We're within shouting distance of Olin which is where we need to be. So far, Shin is okay, fighting there amongst 18th and 17th right in front, but Falco is where we're paying attention here. A nice top five would be nice. Like I said, I didn't think we could squeeze third out of this, but we will have to take a look. See, Falco is in 10 out of 10 form. He's really enjoying the drive, and that makes me happy. All right, let's go up four speed here. So far, so good. Shin is not doing too well. Parnett needs to get out of my way. There goes Falco with an excellent move. And Falco's starting to burn through these tires just a little bit more. Conserve, if you please. I think we could get away with conserving. Everyone around Falco has chewed through their soft tires. Well, I say that. And Blasi goes by, but he will not be able to stay on those tires for long. Tires is what wins a race. You see Darrell Waltrip using up his tires. So Shen is a few laps away from pitting 
12 laps. I don't think that's enough. We want to sort of stretch this out as much as we can so this can be Shen's last time on pit road. We don't want to do anything that will make us have to pit an extra time or all, everything we're doing with Shen gets unraveled. It's kind of disheartening to see, but I mean, that's what we've got. What is heartening to see is Falco holding off these charges and these guys in front of him are pitting this time. Yeah, they are chewing through their tires like crazy. This is really, really good. Yes, you can get past Amura. He just literally passed you and now you're past Amura. Stop it. Don't say you can't when you blatantly can. All right, these guys are gonna come down pit road here. And I think we can turn Falco back up to the neutral drive here. He's in second, holding a very pretty wheel, but 14 seconds behind Olin. That is just nuts, man. We'll go two more laps on Shen. I think she can make it around one more time and then we will um, do the work here. So she comes back around this time. We will definitely push uh, this next lap. Get everything we can out of it. Go ahead and do a high overtake and a high push if you please. Once she gets past pit road, we will hit and we'll have to put the medium tires on it, I think. I, I want to play it safe here. Nine laps, we don't need to fuel. We're not going to worry about repairing parts. And either way, it's a two second pit stop, so we will do a nice balanced pit stop so that the pit crew is good to go. You can pit for fresh tires soon. So we wanna go a few more laps with Falco here. Uh, let's actually turn him up to a high push. Uh, see if we can. Virtual safety car, should I pit? I wish I could see what Olin does. I think we need to go a little bit further but if we pit now, see if this was a real safety car, this would be a real easy choice. But with the virtual safety car, hmm. I don't think it would hurt anything if we did. And 64 seconds, I think we could get on and off pit road before Shen gets to us. And nine laps, it would be eight to go. I think we do. That would be our last pit stop of the day. So let's do it. Let's put some fresh rubber on here then. We don't need to worry about fueling. Don't need to worry about parts. A nice balanced pit stop. And we will do that. For now then, just go low there and low there. While we come back around, 37 seconds left of the safety car. Nope, don't pit. Lars didn't pit, but Shin can, because I mean, she might as well. There we go, let's just push it now. If, if the leader pitted, I would have went ahead and did it, but we would have pitted during the virtual safety car, and I don't think that would have been good strategy. All right, go high there and a push to get your tires good to go. So Giuliani crashed and Shin should be good for her last pit stop. Everyone around her has soft tires, but she's pretty much on her own it looks like. Eight laps to go, we are pushing hard. Let's go ahead and do a full attack all the way out and then we will see I know you're not, Falco. Matter of fact, we could pit this time for your last set of softs. We don't need to pit again. And a balanced pit stop, two seconds, you're good to go. Just push everything you've got this lap there, Falco. Come on down to pit road as soon as you can. We'll have seven laps of good soft tires to do because there was no way we were gonna be able to stretch that out, I don't think. So Olin is on pit road, there we come down pit road. Hopefully Olin takes fuel and we can be down and away and catch him. I think we did make a massive catch up for sure. We'll just push and see what we got here. So Mura and Partnin and Lei have not pitted, but we are within three seconds of Olin now. I think he took fuel. 
So the fact that we didn't have to take fuel allowed us to do that for sure. House park conditions looking okay. We can run that, um, that higher fuel mode for sure. That is until two or three laps to go, I think. Once we hit three laps to go, then we will uh, we'll turn up the engine as high as it possibly can go. So Olin is right there, 3.5 seconds in front of us. We should have better tire wear. We want to keep him within shouting distance. Falco running as fast as uh, bits of the race. That is definitely encouraging. Let's keep Shen on a neutral. She's got people all around her, though. Crap. Let's just have her push out. She is battling heavy in traffic. But we still have plenty of excess fuel. We can keep that engine burning. Falco with his fastest lap of the race. Not the fastest lap of the race, but I think keeping pressure on Lars Olin is going to pay dividends. He is in perfect form. He is focused and ready. I don't know if we scale back the scale back the tires or not. I don't think it would make sense to. Shen making some passes. I know your tire deg is through the roof, but we've only got how many laps to go? Four laps to go. I think we might be able to push. Let's just push the engine and keep that going strong. We'll wait another lap for Shen. Her tire wear should be good, but we'll wait on that engine until two laps to go. We're at 3.4. I mean, we are within shouting distance of Lars Olin, and I think it is time with three laps to go. We tell Falco to push as hard as he can, that 3.4 second gap. Do as much as you can, Falco. He is closing the gap. He should have plenty of tires under him to do it. Catching him's one thing, passing him is quite another, but Falco is chewing into that lead for sure. Jan's dots here retired. That will be another position for us. With two laps to go, let's go ahead and tell Shen to give it everything she's got as well. So here we go, Falco setting up for two laps to go. That was his fastest lap of the race. We shaved a second off. Oh man, this is going to get tight. He definitely has enough tires to do it. I think even Shen might have enough tires here to get around Paris, perhaps. Blasi pitted for fresh softs. That was a mistake. But we need... Oh, we've got the pressure on now. Falco is giving it everything he's got. He has the fastest second sector of the race. And we are putting a lot of pressure here on Olin. One lap to go. Here we come, ladies and gentlemen. Falco, you need to give me everything you got. Put as much pressure on Lars Olin as you can. Our tires are absolute garbage compared to Lars. We're pushing everything we got, but I think it will work out in the end. Shen, don't push so hard. We need you to come back in one piece, please. So last set of turns. I don't think Falco is going to do it. Lars Olin in his stupid points leading ways is going to win the race as he always does. Let's take a look at Shen. She's fighting hard here. Go ahead and push everything you got. Last corner. Can Shen get around? Nope, seventh was boosting away, but a nice eighth place for Shen and she was right there. So maybe in the next race we do take that third spot. I mean, that is like a win, a second place. We're looking like a really competitive team here, which is all that could be asked. I thought Germany was going to wreck us a whole lot harder than that. And it looked like our strategy was the exact same as Lars Olin. So when it comes to a rivalry, uh, Lars, Olin, Lars Olin and Falco are neck and neck. Shen managed to keep those medium tires and I'm feeling fortunate because people that, that couldn't do that are down here in 17th place. So that is fortunate. We didn't break any rules. Hopefully Lars Olin did. That would certainly be nice. No. And he got the fastest lap of the race, which gets two extra bonus points. 
We're never going to get the points lead like this, but a really good day for constructors. Take a look at that, 13 and 19 points there. Another podium for Falco that puts him seven, second, seven seconds, seven points out of the lead, two behind Omura, and he's starting to gap uh, Landvik a bit, and even Shen is in a very close points battle for the top 10. I'm liking that. We are in third place now in the Constructors Championship. I do like that indeed. Olin didn't blow them away, Orlando. I don't know what race you were watching. But definitely uh, not taking fuel. That last pit stop helped Falco close the gap. It's just he, he had to give up a lot of his tires to get to the front and could not make the pass. But I am happy. It, it, this, is a, this is a good season that we're having so far. Hopefully the next race is as conducive. The chairman, of course, is very happy. Shen's morale goes through the roof. And these things are improving slowly, but she's getting better at cornering and braking. Even her fitness is going up. And man, Falco, 9.3. He is only getting faster. A 7th, a 1st, a 2nd, and 10, 14th, and 8th. So some positive, positive, positive growth for sure. So I'm feeling pretty stoked about this. Next race looks to be China. Let's see what is pivotal there. In China, in Beijing, the top speed, acceleration, and brakes are crucial. Rain for the, for the practice, the race tires, or the race will be dry. With a medium tire wear, I think mediums, medium practice may be the way to go. Could be. How did our pit crew do? I don't know if you guys are, are, are making it or not, but these guys are... Oh, yeah, you were at like... 40, weren't you? So I think we can afford to rest up our pit crew next time. Let's go ahead and get our mail done. An interview, we accept. You accepted a bribe and Sokka fans are worried about your integrity. Would you allow investors to audit your finances? They'll be hearing from my lawyer. So the team marketability goes down, or that the team happiness goes down. Figured that would happen. But one good race... And the chairman's happiness will be right back up. I think we might be able to pull out a third here in China, but we'll just have to see. But that is going to do it for me in this episode of Motorsport Manager. Ladies and gentlemen, like, share, and subscribe if you are so bold. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you in the next Motorsport Manager video. Take care.